Hello Sagittarius and happy birthday to all the Sagittarius out there. So this is the reading that I got for you guys for the last two weeks of September. So I get the star card as Jenna Energy. You got the Ten of Cups in the verse, Empress in the verse, Strength, Four of Swords in the verse, and Harvest. So wow. Um we got a lot of major arcana. Yeah, we got a lot. We got four. Okay, so when you do have a lot of major arcanas in your reading. That means changes is going to be very apparent. It's not going to be like, oh, um, okay, I see how that resonates. Like, it's going to be very profound. So I'm seeing the last two weeks is going to be very profound for you guys. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are rebuilding. Rebuilding, re-strategizing, reinventing yourself, reinventing your life, okay? Um, that's what I'm getting. Now, when it comes to love, I'm seeing someone is definitely proving their loyalty to you. I'm definitely seeing that they're proving they love to you. And I feel like they're doing it in a big way. Some of you guys are going to get engaged to, um, I say engaged to, some of you guys are going to get proposed to. Um, if you guys have been dating for a little bit or a while, um, I'm seeing this person's actually going to make the commitment call. They're actually going to say that they want you to be theirs. Okay. And I'm seeing that it's actually happening when, when you think that it can get better or when you thought that it won't happen, okay? That's what I'm pretty much saying. Now, the signs that you might be dealing with, you might be dealing with a Leo, Taurus, strong Taurus. Um, it could be a Libra as well, Scorpio, um, Aquarius, Libra. Now, for the Oracle, I mean, the Romance Angel, I got You Deserve Love, Playfulness, and Love Yourself First, Express Your Love. So, Gemini's got You Deserve Love too in the first position as well. Um, I Yeah, I think it was in the first position, but they got You Deserve Love. So, some of you guys are dealing with Gemini's, but Sagittarius and Gemini's are opposite. But for me, opposite signs are very similar. They just have different ways of expressing it, have different ways of showing it. Okay, um, so I feel like you and Gemini's are definitely going through a reevaluation period, and I feel like this is with within. It's not so much external; it's within. I feel like a lot of you guys are embracing who you are. You're not trying to modify who you are because of others, or modify who you are because of your boyfriend, your lover. You're not doing that. You're being true to who you are. And I feel like this is why this person's in love with you because, because you know yourself, okay? And this person's going to come at you shady because you know yourself. When you don't know yourself, that's when you tolerate bullshit. That's when you um, don't see things clearly. People can manipulate you. But I feel like a lot of you guys are really knowing your answers of who you are. And when I got love yourself first and playfulness, I feel like this is regaining your, regaining your childhood, regaining, and what I mean is like regaining your belief system, regaining um, the foundations, okay? Even though you may grow up in an environment that was not healthy, it's like you're reliving your childhood by making the correct decision in your adult phases, okay? And then with express your love, I feel like this is you expressing love to yourself, loving yourself. Now, when I clarify you deserve love, I got the Ten of Pentacles. So this is going to lead to abundance. By you understanding that, by you feeling that way, it's going to happen. And when I clarify playfulness and love yourself first, things are going to change in a big way for you guys with the Wheel of Fortune being there. Now, when I clarify express your love, I got the Eight of Cups and the Emperor. So the Emperor represents Aries, and Aries is the first sign of Zodiac. It represents the head. So, thyself. So, I feel like a lot of you guys are really... <laughs> it's like y'all being cocky on another level. But not on, like, disgusting cocky. Like, you're, you're bombastic, you're pompous. No, I feel like you guys are being cocky, confident, and still, like, humble at the same time. Okay? That's what I'm pretty much getting. So, I'm seeing you guys are elevating, leveling up. Okay? Now, for the Oracle spread, I got Inner Guidance System. Who got this? I think Gemini got that, too. I think Gemini got this. Yeah, so you and Gemini are very similar right now with energy. 
feminine law, feminine law of attraction and inner will spring. Okay, so with feminine law of attraction, I feel like this is regarding your Sagittarian optimism. I feel like this is definitely helping you. It's helping you manifest because you're optimistic and you feel it. Because the thing with manifestation, you have to feel it. You have to feel it and you have to have this undoubtful energy that is going to happen and that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing that you guys are feeling it and you you know it's going to happen this confidence like you know your love life is going to transcend whatever whatever you try to manifest is going to happen and then i got an inner wellspring because you are abundant within with the ten of pentacles to clarify you deserve love and this is all knowing who you are with inner guidance system okay now when I clarify the Ten of Cups in reverse, I have the Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Wands, okay? So when it comes to your love life, in the recent past, I'm seeing that there was somebody that you was in out with, okay, or there was an out with you, um, and this is how they change. Because of you creating the distance, because of you not being there for them, it's like now they know what they lost and they want to regain that. They want to... Um, show that they can be serious. They can want you to know that they can be abundant with you. Now, when I clarify the inference and reverse, I got the temperance. I also got the nine of swords in reverse and the judgment in reverse, okay? Um, also with the six of wands. So with these four cards being here, I feel like even though this person probably treated you like this, they all the time know your value, okay? They all the time knew your value it just probably at the time when they was treating you like this and you you know you was accepting it it's like you didn't understand your wellspring you didn't understand your true worth but it's like now you get in it now they want to come with the respect okay and it's because you put yourself first okay that's what i'm pretty much getting now when i clarify the strength card I got the Queen of Cups, the Cherry in the verse, Three of Cups in the verse, and Nine of Pentacles in the verse. So I got two messages from this. So if it's the same person, what I'm seeing is like because of you putting yourself first, now they want to be your rock. Now they want to be, um, they want to rebuild with you, rebuild this connection, okay? But it's by you not reconnecting with them initially, by you doing your own thing, by you being happy, independent, which Sagittarius is is natural for that. Okay, another message that I got is probably some of you guys really ditched the past and you're moving forward by yourself. And someone see this and they applaud you and they want to be with you because they see that's that's like basically that's what they was looking for. They was looking for a woman who saw it on their own. They was looking for a man who saw it on their own and it's coming through, it's being manifested. Now, when I clarify the four swords in reverse. I got the Nine of Cups, the Moon, and the Devil, okay? So this can relate to the past. I feel like, yeah, things are definitely changing regarding to something from the past. Someone who was thinking, um, trying to, like, manipulate you, trying to, like, did you wrong, is, like, the tables have turned. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing, like, the tables are turned. And it's... It's going to your benefit. It's going in your favor with the Nine of Cups being there, okay? Now, when I clarify the Hierophant, I got the Six of Pentacles, the Death card, the Nine of Wands, and the First and Ace of Swords. So, yeah, I feel like this person is changing. If it's a past person, you're dealing with the past, this person is changing, and it's because you put yourself first. And it's now they give you a, a, a more respect. And they're, they want to be your rock, okay? And then if it's someone completely new, they see how far you transform. And they always want that in, a, in, um, in their love partner, okay? And they see that in, within you. And they want to give to you. They want to reciprocate. Um, yeah, I feel like this person's going to be very expressive to you. They're not going to hold back with the Knight of Wands in the verse, Okay. Now, when I clarify the star card, I got the five of cups, the eight of swords, the world universe, and the three of swords. So if it's the past, the past did put you through some sh stuff, okay? They put, it puts you through some stuff. Like, all these cards are quite negative. But it's like you re regain yourself again. Like, you found yourself again by 
going through the pain, letting it go, and transforming. Okay, because of you being optimistic about yourself, because of you finding yourself again, because of you loving yourself. And I feel like a lot of you guys are really glowing, okay, glowing. Now, the star represents Aquarius, but for some reason, I'm getting Phoenix energy, even though that represents Scorpio. But I feel like, you know what? I think because the Saturn is about to change from Capricorn to Aquarius in March, I feel like you guys are going to experience a massive change and it's going to be a complete rebirth of who you are, reinvention of who you are, okay? Even though you went through all this tribulations, it's now like you're getting rewarded because you passed the test, okay? And that could be through the past, you know, like you getting out of that situation, meeting someone else, this person appreciates you because that's what they all the time want in a person. Or it could just be the past where... They was put like they was serving as an antagonist, okay, in your life, but you found your strength, and now they want to give you the rock. It's like it's kind of weird how I'm describing it. It's basically like so you know like someone who's a coach, and they like they're such a mean coach, but when you make it, it's like now they want to be super nice. It's kind of like that way, okay. Um, now for the angel answers, I got yeah romance, okay. And then I got, yes, you are ready, okay? So yeah, I feel like in the situation, you guys are ready for this commitment. This person is ready for you, okay? They're ready for you. They're ready to be your rock, okay? And that's what I'm pretty much saying, okay? So that's the reading that I got for you, Sagittarius. And again, thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can at queenfortotarot at gmail.com.